Metrocrest Social Services has been operating for the last 40 years, serving those families in need that are in emergency crisis, uh, those families that live in Carrollton, Farmers Branch, Addison, and Coppell, with services such as rent and utility assistance, food, financial training, employment counseling, and GED training, among other services. At Metrocrest Social Services, we're seeing an increase in the need in our community for not just rent and utility assistance and employment counseling, but also with food. Our food pantry is busier than ever. The needs are busier than ever. We're very fortunate to have such a giving community. 80% of the food that we have on our shelves come from our community, from food drives, from individuals, from uh, corporations like Allegiance Title and many others. 20% uh, we purchase from North Texas Food Bank with funds that are donated to Metrocrest. And we can buy food at about 14 cents a pound. So for your $25 donation, we can buy about 175 pounds of food. We have a number of seasonal programs that really benefit kids in our community. Most kids in our community, 65% of those in the school district here, receive free and reduced meals. So during the holidays, when they get out of school, there's always not enough food. So during the holidays, through Christmas and Thanksgiving, we'll provide 1,800 families with food for those time periods. We also have a SAC Summer Hunger Program that goes nine weeks in the summer and it serves 1,200 families with food. Those are kids, again, that aren't getting food, nutritious food during the summer. And this kind of augments what their family can provide. Uh, our food pantry is busier than ever. One of the reasons is because the SNAP program, which a lot of us think of as food stamps, uh, has had a reduction in benefits, and so we're seeing a lot more families to our food pantry. And also those programs don't cover essentials like detergent, household cleaning supplies, diapers, and so forth. So donations of things like macaroni and cheese, diapers, cleaning supplies, feminine hygiene items, all those type of things really make a big difference in our pantry and to our families that are in need. I'd like to tell you about a family that we had at our place last Saturday. It's a mom and a dad and two kids. They come on Saturdays to get food for the week. Uh, we're very busy on Saturdays. It's the day that the harvest comes from the Coppell Gardens. Our seniors love coming that day, and a lot of our families do as well. This is a family where both parents work. Uh, one of them has two jobs. They're so both making nine, ten dollars an hour. They just barely get by with their two kids. And the dad is going to college, and so they are coming in to get food to help reduce their grocery bill for him to get a college degree and to be able to make more money. So it's just another way the food pantry helps families move forward. We don't want to put a Band-Aid on the situation. We want to put together a bundled approach so that a family moves forward, and often they come back and volunteer once they got back on their feet. Since I've been at Metrocrest Social Services, I've seen some amazing things from our volunteers, our employees, uh, and many others in the community. It's amazing how far a donation goes, a volunteer hour goes. We want our folks in our community to, to volunteer, to advocate on our behalf, and to give when they can. That makes a huge difference to our community. It's affecting thousands of families every year.